The initial idea for Sam Rise Blood came from Mike Benaroya, who's uh, my creative partner and boss and an all-around story guru. Uh, he came to me with the idea for the basic story and characters, the three kids, the revenge plot, all that kind of stuff. And as soon as he said the words, he got two or three sentences in, and it just dawned on me that this was the story I'd been waiting to write since I was a kid. His excitement was infectious, and it got me really excited about it. And I started exploring the world the next day. I started writing uh, you know, character sketches and writing all different kinds of things, and it just opened up before me. And that's how I know when I've got something really good, is when I just start working on it, and all of a sudden it's like a whole world is just opening up. We were lucky enough to work with a great artist named Nam Kim on Samurai's Blood. Um, I was not familiar with his work before, but when Dave Elliott, our editor-in-chief, uh, sent me his portfolio, I was blown away. I thought it was the perfect style and the perfect artistic mind to work on Samurai's Blood. Um, the first thing I saw of his was actually the very first thing that I ever wrote for Samurai's Blood, the first two pages of the first issue, um, and I was blown away. It was exactly what I had envisioned in my mind when I had sat down to write. Um, and I found that to be true. It's just continued to be that way as we've gone through the series where Nam isn't capturing exactly what I had in mind. He's taking it and twisting it to make it just a little bit better. Um, I will come up with a concept for a page and define panels and he'll usually find a way to turn two panels into one or to use a more interesting or dynamic angle and whenever he does that, I would say nine out of 10 times or even more, I'm so blown away by how good it is that I immediately wish I had written it that way. Samurai's Blood is more than just this one story to me. It's a whole world. And it's a world that I am gonna wanna write in and create in for my entire career, for years and years and years going forward. Um, already, in addition to this first, what I would call module, Samurai's Blood, these first six issues of the comic, um, I have about six more of these stories already planned and ready to go, ready to be written as soon as we get the okay. Uh, in addition to that, Samurai's Blood is something that I'm very interested in writing in different ways and continuing to build the world and fill out in different ways. We already have, for example, uh, some prose stories that I've written that are, have gone up on our website, SamuraiZBlood.com, that fans can go and read, and I will be continuing to do that sort of thing as we move forward. I think it's the kind of story that lends itself really well to a lot of different kinds of adaptation, a lot of different kinds of creativity, and I'm interested in doing as many of those as possible for as long as possible. I also want to let people know that I really like to interact with fans and get ideas and go back and forth with people. I think that really inspires my creativity and it's one of the things that modern technology allows us to do. So anyone who's interested in being a part of the world of Samurai's Blood should check out our Facebook page or our Twitter account, at Samurai's Blood, which I write myself. So any fan who wants to talk to me can go right to there and, and interact with me directly.